Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day two of Advent of Code in the year 2024. We have about 50 seconds to go. Um, yeah, I know that the window down here is pretty small, but you know the links. You know, it, uh, if you don't, then it's just Advent of Code and there's a link in the description. But, um, but yeah, and I want to focus on just, well, me solving it live. I'm not very chatty live, on this, uh, at least when I'm solving it, because, well, I'm just I'm quite, I'm trying to get to a leaderboard and, you know, I've, I feel like some days I have a legitimate shot at it, right? So it's not like just like a, you know, but we'll see how it goes. And hopefully, yeah, <laughs> just at the end of the day, just have fun with a little bit of luck. Maybe we'll get up there. Um, yeah. All right. I'll do the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Maybe this is annoying. <laughs> okay. 3, 2, 1. Go, go, go. Oh no! Is the server having issue? Or is it, um, am I having issue? Oh no! Okay, I'll do it. I don't know if it's me. Well, there goes the leaderboard. I don't know if it's me, but. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's me or not, right? Like, it's not loading. Um, well, we could still have fun, I suppose, when whenever it decides to load. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, though, setting up the whole day for this and then your thing just doesn't load. And we're already a minute down. Oh, well, we're gonna. Oh, there you go. There you go. Focus. I mean, we might already miss it, but it is what it is. Okay. So you have a puzzle. Six reports in front of. Seventeen. What? Seventeen is not right. There's no way that could be right. Uh, no, this is. Eh. Uh, eh. What are you doing, Larry? Six sixty. Uh, it's 128. That one minute killed me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and I don't know if other people had that issue, so it's hard to say. Um, do, 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 okay.
689. <gasps> eh, just barely out of top 100. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if everyone had lag on that one or just me, but it, I wasted a minute. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Eh, I mean, yeah. It's tough. It's tough to say. Um, eh, I mean, yeah, 128, 113. So it would have been nice to get points. I think this was pretty um, straightforward. The times are not that accurate, right? Because, I mean, you saw that I was down for about a minute or I don't even know how long it is. But, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like this is pretty straightforward. It's about um, this one trying to get into the leaderboard means just, um, yeah, just trying to be as, as precise as possible. I think, I, I don't know. Um, and I probably kept putting this up, right? Like, this code is very, very, like, not meant to be fast or whatever. Or, like, it's fast to type, but maybe not fast. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. This is my code. Um, yeah, I mean, um, and this is a little bit, uh, uh, not a little bit, it's definitely super brute force. So, yeah, uh, how would I clean this up? Um, this is... Basically, uh, let me go over the code real quick and then we'll, we'll go over how I would clean it up. Um, basically, the idea is that, okay, well, if it's, uh, so the, the rules are that it has to be either or increasing or all decreasing, right? So that rule is pretty, um, the ways you can do it by checking adjacent elements and, but I thought it would be a little bit too confusing or too hard. I think maybe I could have cleaned this up a little bit as well, but I don't know. I don't think it's, I think you could have done it another way, but when we'll talk about that in a little bit, but what I wanted to kind of um, do is that, yes, you can write shorter, more precise code for this problem if you kind of able to conceptualize both rules in this in one thing, which we'll do in a second or next. But the way that I thought about it is that, okay, well, um, how I want to think about it for uh, problems like this, especially when I'm going for speed, is that when I'm able to break it down into components, then if I misread a component, I'm maybe writing in a way such that um, I'm, I'm minimizing the, the issue with me uh, running into an it, uh, issue, is that if I misread a component, I could just rewrite that component. Of course, that component is a little bit like, you know, like maybe you could have a helper function, but that's the point. And for me, the increasing and decreasing, well, if it's increasing, that means that the nums is equal to um, it, it's self-sorted. Of course, this adds, adds an n log n kind of thing, but like I said, I'm not worried about performance for n log n or even like an additional n or something like this, as we'll see. Um, and then in reverse is also just, um, yeah. Um, if we sort it and it is reversed, then yeah. And you can maybe even like on a very late, very quick thing would have just been like, just, okay, well, uh, maybe sort the nums as you go to sort the nums. And this would have actually have been a reasonable thing to do if I was kind of a little bit more clever about it. And then this is just like reversed nums or something, right? So that, that may be a little bit better um, because then that already makes it not good, right? And then he, afterwards I sort it. Um, you may wonder why I'm sorting it, but um, it's just that so, you know, it actually doesn't, eh. I think I don't need to, but I just want to, um, establish a precondition. And this is just for defensive programming against myself or something. But it has established the invariant that now we're going in increasing order. So the sorting it was there so that if if uh, if it passes the previous check validation of, well, it could be increasing or decreasing, but now we want to make it increasing. So that's basically what, um, what this sorting does, right? It just basically make it increasing and decreasing. Uh, that you, you have given two different possibilities, you make it increasing. It turns out it doesn't matter because I, I got lazy and then wrote it this way anyway. But then I made some silly mistakes, but um, as you saw in the live portion, um, that cost me like se seconds and that was enough. But, you know. Um, yeah, and... And yeah, and here, this is a very common Python thing. This is just so that it, it allows you to um, look at adjacent elements in a very easy way. And I just make sure that it's technically, it, it, now that we know that we're increasing, then I, I could, this is more precise. But again, for stuff like this, doing a con, uh, I, I call it a contest almost, but um, for, for, for a thing when you're going for speed, um, 
like it takes half a second to write the, the extra three characters and I don't have to think about it anymore, right? So yeah, and, and just like it helps you with mistakes. Like for example, if I had confused with X minus Y or something like this and, I've, and then I have to debug it later, that's even worse. Um, but writing absolute value just makes it like, okay, even if I'm wrong, maybe I have a chance to get lucky kind of thing, right? So that's why I have absolute value. Um, yeah, and this just kind of makes it good. And then if, and of course, if you're familiar with Python, all this could be one liner. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it, really. Um, and that's part one. So how I would kind of rewrite this to be a little bit cleaner. I mean, I, I don't, I think at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to be that clean. And then the second part, uh, just to go over very quickly, is just that I add in an extra loop so that I, uh, brute force remove every element as they, so it's just, this is how I remove an element and then everything else is copy and paste, which, you know, it is what it is. And this is going to be, uh, O of L for the number of inputs, uh, or times and log N because of the sorting. Um, but you don't need to sort, so uh, so you could definitely reduce this. Um, this is all of uh, L times N times N log N, right? So yeah, but you can also reduce the log N factor. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much all I have for this one. I mean, I'll clean it up a little bit. So here you actually, um, if you're kind of slick, you actually don't need this. You could have maybe done something like, um, I don't know, you, you can write a helper function like is good or something like this of uh, nums uh, of some numbers, right? And then it could be just, um, you, if you spend some time to kind of think it through, you can actually combine them, which is that, well, if it is increasing, then it has to be precisely this, right? It has to be between one and three, and it has to be exactly one and three in a, one, in a particular direction, right? So this is increasing so if that's not the case we return false and then and then we return true right and that's really it for it's good increasing so then now all you have to do is write um maybe i should have saved that yeah well it's not a big deal um like it's good uh nums or is good uh nums uh reversed then you know what is one yeah, same answer, you know, so that's good. And part two is, you know, obviously also the same thing. Um, so th you can definitely write this in a very precise way. I think the way that I think about it is just to also like um, a little bit sort of uh, defensive programming, but in a way that is, um, yeah, it, it's defensive programming against my own habits, right? So, so it doesn't mean... Um, so it might be that the way that would be faster for you is different. So yeah. Um, so that, that's the way I would rewrite it, but basically the same idea, right? As how we rewrote the first one. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think about, oops. Let me know what you think in the comments um, and how you know, if the rewrite is helpful, because I, I think sometimes I just leave it be and uh, people get comments about it. Um, you know, you have to keep in mind that, the, oh, let me re let me run it real quick so that I could confirm that it is good first. But you have to keep in mind that, you know, these are, oh, this is wrong, for example, whoops. Uh, this is wrong, what did I do? No, oh, I just got lazy. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, I mean, I think the way that I write these things are not meant to be like the, an example of even good code, honestly, but it is just about years of experience accumulated specifically against things that I make mistakes on a lot. So I try to kind of, you know, uh, come up with these things for myself, which you may not have those weakness and you may not have those blind spots or may not apply to you. Anyway, uh, that is all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see you tomorrow and good luck. Bye-bye.